has hit some unbelievable drives this week. This holds 351 yards. He's hit several drives longer than that. Look, Look at that, that bounce. one go. It's Whoa. over the green. Okay, I think we are live here. No one complained about the audio. This is the best I can do. Let's see if this is even working. I don't know. I think I should be live. Oh, yeah, it is working. Live here. No one complained. Yes, it's some unbelievable. Yeah, that sounds good. You guys are being real bitches if you complain about this. This is the best I'm going to do. As everybody's coming in here, I just want to apologize. I had to update my brother's MacBook. It hadn't been updated for a very long time, and it took hours to do. In the meantime, I ordered a bunch of Thai food, and I ate it all, so you guys missed that. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that live. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Beautiful. Very, very good. I'm making it happen. I'm running on no sleep. I'm in Dallas, Texas. I got the newborn. I'm getting fat as shit. I got the vape with no nicotine, and I'm still going live. I'm still going live for a few hours. Fuck you, Steve Van Zant. Coming in here to talk shit. Then leave. Suck my ass. Let me tweet this out. Let me let me tweet this damn shit out. Let's uh, start up with a little big country, huh? What's going on, YouTube? Big country coming at you one more again. Today it is another solo Sunday. Um, I'm here in the Walmart parking lot and got my good. <clears throat> Look at the grease on. I don't know if you ever see it, but that thing got grease on. It's probably the Cajun. Mm-hmm. Play biscuit. Best part, of chicken. Well, I want the thing tastes all right. Mm-hmm. Let's tweet this shit out. Huh. I'm in uh, Well, I don't want to lift the computer up because it's like the charger's janky on it, but I'm looking at the skyline of downtown Dallas right now. Mm. Bitch. I mean, you got a spice to it too. <coughs> You hate to see him not really give a shit anymore. I don't like the flavor of it. Oh, man. <laughs> man, he's wore his taste buds clean down. His tongue must look like sandpaper. <clears throat> Got a tongue like a cat. What the boat rounds. You're all right. <laughs> Miss Angie. Miss Angie ended up eating my Bojangles so food. This is a typo. It should be uh, MSG, Angie. That wasn't, that this is my brother's whole setup. I, I got his gaming PC. Uh, he doesn't have a webcam, though, so I got to use his laptop. He's playing Call of Duty in the other room right now. Maybe he'll make a little appearance. This is how I win. God bless my wife. She's uh, at her parents' house right now taking care of the baby, and I hopped over here to make this happen. Okay, we are live from Dallas. I got a nice view of... Uh, I could probably... 
Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the view Lee Harvey Oswald had before he popped that Catholic son of a bitch. Yep. Best part of the chicken. The best part of the chicken. <clears throat> best part of the chicken. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, and I got me a backup. What do I? <laughs> he always has a backup in case the featured item sucks. Hell, I don't blame him. Got me a supersonic bacon cheeseburger. I got a uh, pad key mouth, like a which is basically just a pad to you, spicy with up. bell peppers and basil, and I also got a, a muscle man curry. I ate both. Backup. Because one you might just throw out because it's no good. Ooh, Lord, I get having is. a backup. Mm. Let me show y'all this thing here. Lord of mercy. Look at that burger. There you go. Sorry about the light. Mm. <laughs> Looks like utter shit. That's the way it came. Out the, I'd eat the shit the out of it, though. <sighs> it's spicy. Got the, it got the spice to it. Oh shit, we I also gotta go got the, the fire Sorry. from the, Forgot my out bad. the grease. That thing By the way, look at my brother's out. fucking laptop. He has a. Uh, Dang it, I reckon I he has a one that says memes. It's a memes folder. Good God, I'm leaking everywhere. Memes. Bad part, Timkin. Oh God, of Hi, course. Hi everybody. Today we're here in the Great Smoky <clears throat> Mountains National Park. And we're You're welcome, TNT. TNT says I speak Chimpkinese. Thanks for the stream. Love you. I have had friends uh, translate what Big Country is saying because sometimes I just really don't have a clue. So if you ever speak Chimpkinese, please see what feel we can free. See with the solar eclipse. So yes, we are having a partial eclipse here in the Great Smoky Mountains, and it's it's cloud cover today. Not a real good chance that we're gonna see anything, but we are going to Cades Cove, and there's always something to see there. Maybe even a bear. The bear are out. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do this. The last eclipse yeah. was a total eclipse when we were there last. Nick Moon? No, Mr. Moon, right? Mr. Moon. Yeah. Well, the sun does exist. Of course, they're seeing it with the so locals. That's my setup. It's my cell phone. And of course, I'm on a tripod. And I took a pair of the glasses and I put it there just right so the camera can see. And I knew I could do this because back in 2017, Maddie Rat said he's already commented on this. Thing. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so you can see in in my phone. Just do control F. The sun there, Maddie. And I'm I'm, I'm not seeing your name, Maddie. You through the glasses itself. Maybe they hit your comment, and Maddie. That's the sun. Maybe you're being silent. The filter. Yeah, it's peeking through. It might give us a performance. And it should be starting right about now. You should start seeing the the outer edge. I don't see you anywhere, Maddie. The sun. Damn, they have their engagement is so high it you makes me it? sick. So to, and then when it gets closer to three o'clock, it should be about eighty-nine percent. So if I'm looking at it right, the bottom right hand corner is starting to Here we you know, go. starting to uh Disappear <laughs> it's it's begun. Very good, Maddie. And you got a like from So right now it's almost <clears throat> halfway covered. It's starting to get a little Very bit good, Maddie. darker. I'm not sure if um 
my other camera is picking it up or not. <laughs> very, very good. You know, that it's showing up on there, but I don't know how good of quality it is. Of course, the obvious jokes here, they, they see it, they get hungry, they think of a moon pie, you know, they uh, they think it's a banana. No, we get it. I just want to, I want to see if they actually start explaining, like, explaining, like, the science behind it or something. All quiet. So it just went past peak. Just a few they're definitely ago. staring at it the whole time. There's no way they're not. Jay Natural Gonzalez with the 499. Oh, we got a 499 message retracted. <laughs> what was that about? That is. Why'd you retract the message, my friend? Crazy. So, you'll notice that it's a. Uh, it's went just past peak, about a, about a minute or so. Shut up, retard. Uh, Jay Gonzalez with the 499 says LP live stream. Hell yeah! Thanks, brother. <laughs> Thanks for blessing us with your presence, Jay Gonzalez. We appreciate it. It's a beautiful thing, these live streams. You know, a lot of people don't appreciate them, but the real ones do. And I'm making the time every week now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do Friday, because I am out of town for this week. Visiting in-laws, seeing family, letting people hold the baby that might be dead soon. It's how these things go. Nate64, oh, but I wanted to make one of them at least for you guys. Nate6401 with the dollar ninety nine says, do you know about Tom Meyer's bong hit transplant? Absolutely, buddy. Classic bit. Jack uh, Kuhn with the dollar ninety nine. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the $2. Ben, what? And by the way, I will mukbang. If any, I think I named the price at like, what was it? I say three hundred dollars or five hundred dollars, something like that. And I'll I'll get food delivered in mukbang if you do so, please. Vincent Vega with the four ninety nine says, Ben, preferably just Venmo me the money. By the way, because YouTube takes thirty percent. Uh, Vincent Vega with the four ninety nine says, Ben, what hard drugs have you done? Coke, LSD, mushrooms, ecstasy, any? Good stories. Yeah, I've done psilocybin, psilocybin chocolates, the synthetic psilocybin. That was great. I feel like I went to heaven. I was talking to um, the capital T truth, and I was in communication with light, and I was drawing these uh, insane images and writing notes to myself in the future for me to cherish so I wouldn't forget the everything I was learning and then the second time I took mushrooms I died and I went to hell and I got tortured uh, I looked at this photograph of my family and they kept growing old and dying and then being born again um, everything became 2D for a minute too I was basically in hell and I couldn't escape and it was maybe the worst experience of my life I literally died and went to hell uh, the second time I did mushrooms so I never did it again There was there's too much Too many religious symbols within me, and I'm too scrupulous of a person to probably allow myself to enjoy something like psychedelics. So I got to be careful with that stuff. I haven't done it since because, man, it's not fun to feel like you died and went to hell for five hours. I really thought I would never get out of that, and I become a retard, and I start freaking out. I literally thought I was in hell and I was dead. Yeah, not good. Not good. I have a. Uh, I always told myself I got to move past a lot of things emotionally before I can ever do mushrooms again after that, but I don't think I ever will. And I'm finding out now that you kind of never do. And that this, you're just kind of, you know, you get one load out, so to speak. You get a shotgun, an M16, a couple flashbangs. You know, we're not all blessed with rocket launchers and goddamn assault rifles. Some of us are born into this world like the default PUBG loadout. We just land and we go through houses and we start looting and running. And, 
you know, you get a knife, you get a grenade, and you just keep going. You hide behind a rock as they're firing at you. But, um... Yeah, I, I can't do mushrooms again. I probably will never be able to do them again. Unfortunately. I'm not a fatalist. It's not like I've given up. It's just, uh... God almighty. I just... You know, I mean... You can only change so much. I mean, you you can become better versions of yourself, and you get better at things. But I mean, when those things are ingrained in your in your mind, you can't surgically remove those. You'd have to have a goddamn lobotomy. So, it is what it is. I don't think I'll ever be able to do them again. And there's many times I ask my wife at parties if I get I'd lean over to her and I go, "Can I do cocaine?" Because someone was offering it, and she told me no. And thank God she did. Um, my friend got ecstasy once, and he took it, and it didn't do anything. So then I didn't take it. But so no, no really, like good stories. I mean, I wasn't like Artie Lang, you know. You know, I wasn't falling out of my, I wasn't falling out of my car high on pain pills. And by the way, most people who tell stories about like going crazy on pills and drugs and this and that, usually they're lying because addicts are liars. People with good drug stories are usually massively embellishing what happened to them and they're huge liars. The people who have the really cool drug stories are all dead. And people that happen to do drugs and then live, they steal stories from the guys they knew that died. And they're all frauds been my experience when you talk to someone long enough with stories like that but uh, man i don't i don't know if i can ever do my i would hope i would wish to do mushrooms again i think alan watts had a uh, a quote he said um in regards to psychedelics he said once you get the message hang up the phone i got the message i hung up the phone pixelante with the ten dollars says hey dude Hey, Pixelante, how's it going, buddy? God bless you. Uh, Inward Scissorhands with the 499 said, Would you guys consider a Portland, Oregon, or Seattle, Washington show? Yeah, we want to do Portland and Seattle. I'm thinking in the uh, thinking in the fall. Go up there and see the leaves change, you know what I mean? The greens and the pinks and the yellows. You would think you were looking at the moon, you know? The oranges... In places where the trees are diverse, the people are not. It's very interesting. L.A., it's it's green all year. And you get every race of person on the planet. Portland, you guys get nine shades of leaf. Not a single black person. It's really amazing. Josh Brown with the $10 says, I've been watching you. Are you watching me through this giant window here? My brother has a pretty sick pad here, I'm not going to lie. He's doing a lot better than me. Very proud of him. All that? But you're... Well, you're looking at both. Jet Kuhn with the... God, shut the fuck up, Will. Jet Kuhn with the uh, 499 says, Are you going to watch the Masters? Absolutely, buddy. I think it's... My little brother just told me it's going to get rained out or something tomorrow, though. So, you know, don't get too high of hopes. I don't know if we'll be seeing any footage. I mean, damn, if it rains for like three days and they can't play, I don't know what they're going to do. I will say, tip here though, supposedly I read in interviews, the greens are going to be really firm and fast this year. People are hitting the greens, the balls are flying over. Probably go with someone who hits it really high and soft. You're looking at guys like Scotty, uh, guys like Victor Hovland. I got a good feeling at Lud- about Ludwig Aberg. I followed him for 18 holes at the Genesis. He was playing with Lucas Glover. Even Lucas was like, good God almighty, man, on some of his drives because they're so high and far. Uh, the guy, I know it's his first time at the Masters, but I, Ludwig Aberg might, that might work to his advantage that he won't know how difficult the course is and he'll just have blinders on. Beginner's luck sort of thing. 
I'm also feeling really good about Wyndham Clark this year. If I had to put money on anybody, I would put money on Wyndham Clark. Now, I am no longer in communication with my personal bookie in LA. Uh, if I move anywhere else, I'll start using, um, what's it called? Uh, when I travel to New York and the other place, I like using this one app, it's much better. Is it DraftKings? No, it's not DraftKings, that one's kinda gay, I forget. Anyway, uh, California doesn't let you bet on sports on the internet, so I have to do it illegally with, not illegally, well, whatever, it is illegal. With a guy I text, and I use a, I use a website that is not official. But uh, with my unit size, he wants me to do $100 per unit, and I, I don't want to do that. I want to do some parlays here and there for like 20 bucks. I don't want to go all in 100 bucks here, 100 bucks there. Anyway, it became a problem with me and my wife. I, I'm, I got to stay away from it. Wyndham Clark. Wyndham Clark. Lance Goodthrust with the five says, Hey, Ben, hope you're having a good family visit. I saw you on the Didov's podcast. Good stuff. Are you thinking of switching to Final Cut Pro? This is actually a big step for me. For the first time this week, I hired an editor that uploaded that episode. I'm trying to write more stuff with Devin. I want to make more sketches. Um, I'm writing a lot more of my own book. And uh, this frees me up another uh, nine or ten hours a week. It's just time that I have I have like a producer editor person in LA now so that that felt weird this is the first week in like probably seven years I haven't edited a podcast but I was leaving for a week we had to record the the night before I left I got the newborn now I'm just trying to ramp it up even into even more high gear so I have a guy now so I won't be switching to final cut I really don't give a shit about any of this I mean I'll stick with Premiere Pro because I still edit the sketches, which those take a, a ton of time in post. But no, I'm not going to switch to Final Cut. Trust me, I tried. I downloaded a free trial of it. It was like speaking fucking Chinese. It was like Big Country wrote the code for that app, for that software. I couldn't make heads or fucking tails of it. Steve H with the 999 says, thanks for the live chat tonight. Of course, buddy. Of course, I know most of you are barely hanging on. And I appreciate the donation, my friend. I appreciate that, Steve H. Edgar Juarez with the $2 says, Gaming Channel win. Well, my brother's playing Call of Duty in the other, uh, in the other room. Maybe we'll switch to gaming here in a little bit. Cole Ferry with the four ninety nine says, I'll be sure to be here on time with more shekels for you on Friday for Buckbang, Benjamin. Yeah, silos are nice, but I, I, but yeah, I feel you one loadout. One, one loadout. Yes, yeah, silos are nice, hi, but yeah, I feel you one, one loadout. <coughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, on one loadout with your brain. Yeah, hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. I love when I say something super retarded that barely makes sense. And another retard out there is like, it's me. Makes me feel less alone in my retarded head. Thank you, Cole Ferry. God bless you. Locust Breaks 187 with the five says, can you look up Rolling the Bottom? He does videos about NASCAR right up your alley, maybe. Rolling the bottom. <clears throat> this guy gets like 22 views? Well, I'm going to feel bad if I make fun of him now.
for the cookout of 400. Brasowski's bygone scheme. I'm a huge fan of orange cars. It just pops. It's eye popping. You know, the black on both ends. I think it's a very cool scheme. Aaron Jones's family dollar scheme, the black. The Chase Elliott was recently on the Down Junior download. It was asked by Down Junior if he would want to be a part of a new season of the Netflix series NASCAR Full Speed. I mean, I haven't watched it. My top five favorite paint schemes for this weekend's Toyota Owners 400. <laughs> Guys, I'll say this. Nice energy if this scheme, guy can energy. do it, you can do it. There's really no excuse for you lazy pieces of shit out there that want to crank out content and want to get something going. And shame on every podcaster who doesn't have audio that sounds as good as this guy's. I won't even shit on this guy. NASCAR's most popular no driver, Chase Elliott, has a new spotter. Trey Poole, who is Chase Elliott's cousin, who has spotted for him on road courses and and record booth who announced that Ty Dillon will be. Hendrick Motorsports came out with some paint schemes. Willie Byers' Raptor ski was at Kras Rala. God bless this man. I don't know what's going on. He's doing his thing. And I can't hate on him. Can't hate on this man. Now, if he had a lot of views, then I could uh, say things about him. But it's maybe one or two views per video. I might as well live stream someone on the street and point a big finger and go, ha, ha, ha. From Cal Wells, who's the president of Lansing Motor Club, he said, the main reason to buy into the future of the organization, he said, uh, Very well produced. A shout out to Rolling the Bottom. Well done, my friend. Well done. Lovejoy with the 999 says, I got a goods ones for you. Joker impression at 315. Bigot band the Pop Tart review. Joker impression 3. Bigot. Banda Pop Tart Review. Here we go. Is it one of these shorts? No, because it's 315, right? Okay. This is going to be a minute. It's big. It's big LT. Not an eye. I think I need reading glasses. It's not this, Here's though. How to properly eat Pop Tarts. No. Big LT Ban Na Pop. Ban Na Pop. Tart review. Big Na. Big LT band of pop. Damn. It's not showing up. I am a gay man. I am a gay man. I am gay for pay. I am gay all day. I'm gay for pay. I suck cock. I fuck my ass. I fuck ass. I suck my dick, I'm gay, I'm gay. Is it in the Frosted Apple Fritters one? They have a lot of Apple, they have a lot of Pop-Tart reviews here. Damn, I want to find this one too. Is it Big LT and Mickey? Is that the one? I'm, okay, I'm looking at the people that don't pay to see if they can guide me in the right direction here. Okay, help me out here. I can't find this shit. <clears throat> so 
Someone says, you ever been to Crane, Texas, Ben? I have no idea where that is. There's so many shitty towns in Texas. I always think I haven't been to a shitty town in Texas, and I totally have. I've eaten at, like, the subway downtown and had diarrhea. In every city in Texas, somehow. Anyone know uh, if I'm in the right... uh, if I'm in the he meant banana. Okay, he meant banana. Okay. So he's a retard who doesn't know how to spell. Congratulations, retard. Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Is It Any Good? This doesn't have a That's three thing, good. okay. Got it. There we go. We're, we're, in the words you didn't of even audits, say the channel right. It's 2020. Big LT and Mickey. Pie! Okay. I saw Maybe it'll be really good. One too. It's, it's a... Well, no this, one throws stones yet. It could be though. good. I mean, the next one will probably be uploaded the next day. So There's no 315. Cobbler, but to me, cobbler and pie are the same thing. So... And it says new X the next day, so they have to wait it's 24 hours. cobbler, but to me, cobbler and pie are the same thing. So, there's no 315, buddy. It says new exclusive flavor. Banana cream pie. Or someone would say banana cream pie. All right. Sweet. I hope these will be better than the garlic. (laughs) Oh, that Mr. E thing? Mr. E flavor? And again, he is having all of these. Actually, I think for the rest of the uh, recordings we're doing today, I don't think I I'm guessing this is the guy that does the Joker else. impression. He's got the Batman poster in the back, and he's already doing weird voices. Tastes like a banana cream. <laughs> okay, no more pear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, think about what they did to your guy, Otis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe for people who aren't wrestling fans, maybe you should tell them. They cut off his hair, made him shave his beard. I was like the Godfather, that Godfather me. Look what they did to my boy. Then they also like shave his hair, bros. No. There, but for the grace of God, go I. My son does, makes fun of my eyebrows. I'm like, you, you, you keep laughing. This is your future. Uh, uh-uh, uh, I'm gonna shave mine whenever I can. No, no, this is your future. No, no. You can't shave them. I've shaved them. They come back. It's like the Santa Claus. You shave it, just... Jesus, I hate this yeah, guy so, so much. Yeah, that. That's supposed to be me, my son. Okay. And of course he has children. <clears throat> God. Unironically making a Santa Claus reference. <laughs> All right, I'll write, I'll write down on a piece of paper 3.14. Not that bad. Jesus Christ. It's also well, a you didn't give me a timestamp, uh, buddy, for the Joker that, thing. Uh, I'm guessing this, did this guy where, take his um, own life? He's not Hughes, responding anymore. Like, thinks he's, all, he's like the last person on Earth, so then he finds like an endless supply of pie, which causes Jimmy Neutron to have a brain blast because he was thinking of his father when he <clears> says, endless pie. So that basically gets like whatever Jesus it was. I think it was like a robot to tell him the equation of pie, which was like constant numbers because it's end- because the equation for pi is endless. Really hate these guys. I obviously I highly recommend. I buy more dollar or how much I bought for it. Well I mean you bought it anyway. Yes. Uh I also recommend you like, share and subscribe to Big LT Radio. Scotty Boy Rules. Just fucking hate him so much. Jeez, I hate that guy. Someone said he said 315, Ben. I know, the video goes to 312. There was no Joker impression in that. But the video did suck ass, so. Someone says, Ben, isn't this just you in five years? No, it's actually you. I will be somewhere else having sex with your mom and fucking her in both her holes. Faggot. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> uh, let's see here. Where are we? Been watching old Devin skits and need more from y'all. Yeah, me and Devin just wrote one. Uh, and then me, Devin, and Jace did some punch up on it uh, right before I left. We have about 11 ideas we wrote, and we we chose one. So we got to shoot it soon, too, because it's somewhat topical. John Spots, the third, with $2, says, oh, wait, wait, I just read that. Oh, and that's Spots, the butler. Thank you. Thank you, Spots. Thank you, Spots. Shout out. Cole Ferry with the dollar ninety nine says, "Call it Anton. Sorry, keyboard sucks, but yeah, at me. Thanks, bro. Francesca with the four ninety nine says, "Priapism. Priapism. <laughs> Why did you type that, retard? Hey, retard. Why'd you type that?" <clears throat> is it because you're retarded? I think it's because you're retarded. I think it's because you're big retarded. There's room for all types of retards here on the Limit Party live stream, though, my friend. What's the verse? Uh, something, uh, you know... Was it about let the children come to me or whatever? It's whatever Jesus said about the children entering the kingdom of heaven. Uh, that, but with retards in the lemon party uh, live stream. God bless. Vincent Vega with the 499 says, Will lemon party ever do a live podcast in Atlanta? How do you choose the locations? Are you able to track where your fans live through Patreon? Honestly, no. We kind of have no idea. We're just guessing. We show up uh, to a place. We go, oh, maybe we could sell like 200 seats there. We sell that out. We go, okay, well, next time, you know, maybe we could do 400 seats, 500 seats, something like that. We don't really know. We just kind of have to guess. <clears throat> we know we get like 50,000 listeners a week. Most of those are in the U.S., but we don't really know uh, what that means in terms of tickets or any of that gay shit. Um, if I wanted to think about tickets and demos and traveling all the time, I would be a gay ass stand up comedian, which I'm not. Because I'm not gay. Uh, but no, we can't track them through Patreon, I don't think. It's also just not a good indicator. Some cities bring more guests, some cities want to go out, some cities don't. Live podcasts are a weird thing. A lot of people may love the podcast, but don't want to see us live. Even though we put on a kick-ass show. By the way, for anybody who was asking about the LA show, I did film it and mix it. I put it out on the Yellow Kings tier for the Yellow Kings. And I think I'll be putting all the live podcasts just on the Yellow Kings tier. And you can't bitch about that and you can't call me greedy because I'm still giving you your regular two podcasts a week, the regular podcast and then the Patreon. The Yellow Kings tier, those are just... I don't want you to think that you don't need to go see the live shows that we're just going to always put them on Patreon. We're not. I'm going to film them and just put them on the Yellow Kings tier. If you want to watch them, you can. A lot of podcasts have really high tiers for exclusive content for the biggest members. If you don't like that and you want to call me, you know, money grubbing or whatever the hell, yeah, be my guest. Be my fucking guest. It's it's content in addition to the regular content you already get. I'm not forcing you to go on that tier, but that's where all the live podcasts will go if I film them. Now, it's hard to film them because I have to run and hit record on both the things and I can't really test it, and then I got to run on stage. So hopefully it always kind of works or whatever. Um, let's see here. Lance Goodthrust with the five says, Hey, I haven't seen any new episodes of Ida Hour. Did John and Ida have the ultimate fight? Yeah, uh, John gave Ida uh, airborne AIDS. And Ida broke out all over her face with AIDS sores. 
and she has she is she's been in the she's been in hospice for like 40 days and they've been giving her an enema so she keeps uh shitting out the john's aids from her uh big iranian ass she has to shit all the aids out into an aids toilet and then they flush it to africa but i just facetimed her the other day and she only has a little bit of hiv now she got rid of most of the aids she only has a little bit of hiv and they said uh she can go back home in in like a week and start doing her podcast again with the gayest man in the universe Drew Klein with the 499 says, Hi, Ben. Man survives dangerous cliff jump by Juke Media. This is the SoCal Legend 8 booth. He used to have great pool drops, but YouTube removed CH and L. Survives dangerous cliff jump by Juke Media. Hell yeah, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Hell yeah, think about all the pussy you're gonna get. Hell yeah, bitch. Let's do this shit. This is what everybody sounds like when they fuck, by the way. Oh, what a retard. Where's the blood? Is there blood? What? There's no blood? The hell? Get him! Yeah, got his fucking ass! Oh, that's awesome. No comments? Yeah, because you got owned so hard. Josh Burry with the 10 said, You're. Wrong about Portland, they just keep them hidden by the river. Oh, I've been to Portland, trust me. There's plenty of crackheads out on the street. I just mean, you know, tax-paying citizens. No, I know what you mean, Josh. Look, I'm, I'm making a little funny bit. I know you guys keep them in uh, the shoe boxes at Foot Locker. I know they're around, but they're... They're not easily seen. James Eldridge with the 499 says, if you want to ruin a tell for yourself, watch him and Tom talk about rooms for 45 minutes on YMH. No. A tell is a legend. He's one of the best stand-ups I've ever seen live. I won't be watching him on a bad podcast. That sucks ass and is boring. He shouldn't have to do podcasts, by the way. He spent his whole life being good at that thing he does on stage that he's insanely good at. And he's insanely funny and very talented. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna watch that. I'm not gonna watch that. I'm not gonna watch Groundhog Day the podcast. Bed with the five dollars says super basic, but react to C Mac. I put the link in the chat. Oh, okay. Well let me see if I can scroll up. Um you also only gave five, so I don't know how hard I'm going to work on this. You need to give ten for a video review. I can't scroll up, so that's... Sorry, buddy. That's as far... Sorry, buddy. I can't... That's as far as the... Ch I went as far as the chat goes. I'm on a chat filter for fan funding, so I can only see the people that are donating money, so I don't miss any of them. Um... Maybe you could email me, buddy, if you want. Email me, and then I'll, I'll look it up. Not entirely there with the $2. says, if we show you our content, will you watch for money? Absolutely, pal. But there's no guarantee I will like it. And I probably won't, but I will play it, and I'll tell people to subscribe to you. Euphoria with the Australian 3395. Thank you. Thank you, Euphoria. God bless you, people. Oh, I, lo I love Euphoria. I love Euphoria. A great Australian gentleman or gentlewoman. I believe it's like a... Oh, yeah, it's a My Little uh, Pony in the Avi. If I ever come to Australia, sir or ma'am, I will suck you off and or eat out your pussy. 
and suck the shit out of your ass. God bless you. How many calories have you eaten so far today, colon spout? So I so for the in the morning I had this thing called a sweet roll. Katie's parents got sweet rolls. Turns out they're that's what a cinnamon roll is essentially. It was about that big. And um, I had uh, two eggs. Then for lunch, I had three slices of a quiche with some veggie chips. I haven't had soda today, which I'm pretty proud of myself for that. I had several cups of coffee. Then I sat in a reading chair in the other room so I wouldn't be bothered for about three hours. And I read the biography of Samuel Beckett called Damn to Fame, which I'm really enjoying. It's very good. It's very good. And then and then I came here and I tried to figure out how to get this live stream to work for like three hours and I ordered Thai food in the process. I had an entire bowl of masa man curry that's with onions, potatoes, peanuts, with uh, beef. And I also had a, a prick key, a pred key, some sort of spicy noodle. Basically it was patsy you with bell pepper. I ate the whole thing. I had two full meals from a Thai restaurant um i kind of feel like getting ice cream later i'm gonna try not to but uh, i don't know how many calories it is it's probably too much for my lifestyle because i like sitting in a big chair oh and off and on haven't been getting any sleep today with my baby uh up and down up and down all night and then i you know i woke up at like she woke me up at like five i couldn't get back to bed and i was just up for the day I passed out in the chair after I ate all the Thai food for 10 minutes. That was a pretty good nap. I literally just fell asleep. I'm turning into my dad. RWP with the dollar ninety nine. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Michael Lloyd with the five says, have you seen Billy D talking about blackface with Mar? Who the hell is Billy D? Billy D. Williams. And when I got that. Oh. Hell yes. This is going to be the good shit. When he did Othello, I fell out. I'm sure someone's and got the timestamp, right? Lando Calrissian. Kind of bigger than life kind of character. Are you a good guy? He is dubious. Uh, Come on, give me a timestamp. God like, damn you, people. Actor, you should do anything you want to do. That's a great point of view, but the theater would be bombed. <laughs> anything to any of the discussions. But you, but Let's see if I get lucky. Office. And some I really like. And some no business. I mean, that's pretty great. Well, you're being very crude right now. Oh, I'm being crude? Yes. Oh, you're suddenly being, we're in you're church being, with Billy D. Yeah, Williams? Yeah, you're being, Jesus fucking I, Christ. I don't talk in those terms. <laughs> I, I, I get And uh, wow. we were out here doing the play before we went to uh, Broadway with it. And I'll never forget. Uh, he went, he, he knew. You got to give me a time um, face, dude. A uh, time stamp, dude. Lovejoy with the 999 says, okay, try Big LT Radio Ban uh, Bread Pop Tart Review 315. The Joker impression is really based. I know you'll love these dump trucks. Lovejoy. Lovejoy. I don't think this is, once again, I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to type in banana. Because I think you're a retard, and I don't think it's banana. Again, doesn't go to 315. Hold on, that's not Big LT though. So this is the only one they have that's the banana. This isn't banana bread though. This isn't Big LT. God damn you people. God damn you all to hell. Do they actually spell it Banna like that? Here we go. Now we're cooking. 
<clears throat> okay, whatever. Um, Three, two, one, I guess. Yeah, that never seen that happen to that before, so. <laughs> I thought the thumbnail was he did a thing where he just put two of himself. Man, this is insane. I'm gonna let these two jokers finish their pop tart. And then we're gonna Hello, play. I'm the Joker. Probably a better Joker than you. You? What a poser! <laughs> Playing up a hospital? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you didn't even have a Harley. Let's see what the audio hurts. is. <laughs> oh shit. How loud does it get? Chucky? No. Oh, you must be double man. Okay, you go. She's behind the door. Oh, you can always count on him. She's behind the door. She's not sure. Man, that really sucked my ass. I'll be sending that to Jason Devin. That sucked so much ass. So it's just so I can piss them off. I'm the Joker. The Joker is finished their pop tart. Hello, I'm the Joker. Probably a better Joker than you. The sign of... By the way, there's tons of people who think of themselves as impressionists and they're so bad at it. Here's the telltale sign they're horrible impressions. They say hello and then they say I'm that person. I don't know what that is. There's tons of people that think they're great at impressions and they have to tell you the name of the person they're doing immediately. I get doing it as like an ironic bit, but... You didn't even have a Harley and that makes you worse. Nicholas Cage? Chucky? No. Oh, you must be double man. Okay, you go. She's behind the door. Oh, you can always count on him. She's behind the door. She's not sure. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus. H. Christ. It's like watching dogs review eating their own assholes. Jesus Christ, it sucks ass. These, these people are fucking mutts. They should be taken to the pound and put down. Useless, worthless human beings. Anyway, thanks for uh, the donation. Colin with the Canadian 2 says, thanks for the best podcast in the world. Thank you, Colin. I appreciate that, buddy. Emma's retarded ass cheeks with the 10 says the thing about the Huberman thing that amazed me the most is how he convinced five women simultaneously that he was exclusive with them. Also, please watch three minutes from online advice show from Toad PhD. I'm glad I gave the first minute to the intro. I don't think I'm gonna make it three, but I'm gonna try. Why are you typing the W? Stop! Stop! That you can't, you can't, you can't associate. You can't do that. You can't come in here. See, this is what you do. You can't come in here and associate whiteness with a W with a win. So you can't say that because you're implying that everyone who isn't white is not a W. Uh, I think every human w. being is a W. What? I think every human being is a W. I, except for... 
the people I don't like. Except for whatever Twitter tells me is wrong. The underscore pink underscore boots turn Here's my online advice the next question. 300. Yeah. Does this guy think people would just go How on How do I get kicked out of here tonight? How do you get kicked out of the room? Yeah, tonight. He must be a big fan. I play Tekken online and IRL. Listen, dude, you can't fucking shove your hand into someone's chest and rip their heart out in real life. Trust me, I've tried. All it does is get you seven months inside of a Canadian maximum security facility. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Um, hi. Uh, how do you get W Riz? How do you get W Riz? Interesting. How old are you? 69 years old. No, you're not. Don't lie. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no way like you're 69 years old. Nine year old's call again. This guy's going to get put on a registered sex 13 offender. 13 and a half. 13 and a half? Are you really 13 and a half years old? No. No. Man, this I've got it. I'm not gonna lie. This really sucks boy. ass. Business intelligence. So like, is this uh, is this some sort of proprietary software or what? What is business intelligence? Oh, um, so business intelligence is you know tracking a company's sales metrics. Um, okay, so you use Excel of, or something? Uh, sometimes, but uh, mostly Power BI. Sometimes. Uh-huh. Uh, sometimes. Um, it's disgusting. It's, I'm disgusted. Uh, I'm fucking disgusted once again. Congratulations. Nate Arger with the 669 says, Thank you for your service, Ben. Happy birthday, Joey LaFleur. Hate watch plus LP rules. Happy birthday to Joey LaFleur. Let him hear it, everyone. Let Joey LaFleur hear it. Sound off in the comments. Let Joey know we all love him. And we're wishing him a happy, happy, happy birthday. Ah, happy birthday, buddy. Ah. Ah, what a, what a sweet happy birthday. Ah, uh, such, a, such a sweet happy birthday for, for sweet baby Joey. Ah. Uh, registered sex offender with the dollar 99 says just saying hi god bless you and the family thank you buddy lance good thrust with the tent says ben you've made some great sketches i am into filmmaking and would love some advice or direction on how to properly your script or project this is why it's also taking so long to do my book is i'm finding that i'm a guy that um I want to write a lot and then whittle it down to the best stuff. Some people just work that way. I know the manuscript Cormac McCarthy had for No Country for Old Men was actually about 600 pages. So that's kind of how he works. Um, some people don't. Some people don't work that way. They're just sort of, they're very exact with the way. I've talked to Sam Talent about the way he writes. He's very, very exact with what he writes as he moves. He doesn't write an excess of stuff and then cut. He doesn't do that. Um, I like having the pen moving for a long amount of time and then only go back later and revise. That's what I kind of like. But then I obsess over the revisions and adding and, and then I'll take away large chunks of stuff. So I would say how to properly do your script or project. Um, don't unless it's a mystery or something like that, don't plan anything out. Never plan anything. You're not gonna get anything good if you plan point A to B to C to this, to that, to the dark night of the soul. Don't do that. Allow these things to come from you unconsciously. Um, Do pen and paper, do not type. It's unnatural. Do it with pen and paper, only type later. And when you're typing it up later, then you can be correcting as you go and then make revisions from there. Um, It's better, I don't know what kind of scripts that you're doing, but every sketch I've shot, I, I have written many ideas and I take the best one. I never just have one good idea. I want six good ideas and I want to take the best one of those six. Always. Um, So just give yourself options and be able to 
give yourself a lot of material so you can whittle away and start creating stuff. My buddy Aaron, he's a really good writer, and he told me that you know sometimes you're working on a book for two years and you think the whole time that you're cooking and then you realize that not only have you not cooked anything, you've just built the kitchen for the first time. So now that you have all of that set, now you can really start playing with the elements and start making stuff. So be patient. Don't plot anything out. Allow these things to spring from you unconsciously so you can create something original that's true to you. Don't plot anything out unless it's like a mystery or something like that. Then you kind of have to. Um, and just read a shitload. Read a lot. You got to read a lot. You got to read more than anyone you know. It's shit that's good too, not gay ass shit that sucks ass. And don't watch bullshit. AR with the 499 says, Benny, what's your opinion on Brahms? Brahm kicks ass. I like the big pink sign, and I like that all the ice cream is way too sweet. And I like that there's uh, fat little Mexican kids with big paunches on. It, the, the type of little Mexicans go there that have like the, uh, it looks like they're all wearing uh, like, uh, like life jackets and stuff, but that's just what, that's their body. It looks like they have like life preservers and like little floaties and wingies, and then they put on big shirts over it. And the light is really pink, and it makes me nauseous when I'm there. I think it kicks ass. DC with the 499 says, any chance we could crowdfund the mukbangs? I love you, but I don't want to give you 500 to watch you ruin your life. I'd do it for 10, though. Stay gay. Sure, man, if you want to make a GoFundMe and get people to donate to it so I can do a mukbang, have at it. You think I give a shit? You think I give a shit if that's dirty money? Cash rules everything around me, bitch. You think I give a shit how you came into that that five those five bands? Or is a, is a band a hundred or a thousand? You think I give a shit? I think it's a thousand. You think I give a shit how you came into half a band, you motherfucker? I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Send me that $500 so I can touch the hand of God. Send me that $500 so I can suck the Chick-fil-A sauce off the finger of the Lord. That famous painting where Adam and, uh... It's that, but it's that, but I'm, I'm eh, just a little bit of, a little bit of Polynesian, baby. Nothing wrong with that. I did a deep dive once on uh, what's the most popular Chick-fil-A sauce. And uh, it really does depend on location, according to managers on the internet. But a lot of people call the Polynesian sauce the, the plum sauce or the purple one fucking retards man goddamn fucking retards <laughs> goddamn fucking retards man Vincent Vega with the uh, 499 says I know you've seen Craig Zoller's films but have you read any of his masterpiece crime western novels mean business on North Ganson Street is 10 out of 10 no I read an Amazon preview for one of his books and his writing is his prose is so bad it's it made me i was like i'll never read his stuff again because i like his movies he one of his books i read i can't remember what it was it was about a girl with like a turtle in her pussy or something in the beginning it's unreadable your your fingers can't drag across the page because every sentence is so clunky it's it's so fucking bad he's clearly smoking crank and not even it doesn't even look like he's doing a first draft of his idea. It looks like his his fingers are just moving. Ah, oh, the keyboard. I mean, it's bad. It's really bad. But people do get better as they go on. So I, I don't know what book you're talking about. Maybe it's good. But holy fuck, that was bad. RWB RWP with the nine ninety nine says, "Search my Joker impression. First fifteen seconds is all you need. Total videos is like two minutes."
Hello YouTube. As some of you may know, I'm a big fan of the Joker. Total video is like two minutes. So this one's 30 seconds. So it's gotta be, this one's a minute 13, but this one's all caps. Damn it. So it's two minute. My Joker performance. Well, I guess we just have to watch like three videos. <laughs> Wanna know how I got these scars? Well, I'm the Joker, baby! <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby! Jesus Christ, just the... Dude, your room is a mess. Hello, YouTube. As some of you may know, I'm a big fan of the Joker. Um, yeah. And I do, I do impressions of him all the time, so I'm gonna do one, um, right now. <laughs> so, here it goes. Gotham, Joker's back in town. <laughs> Man. They thought I died. They thought I was gone. But what they didn't realize was that I was here all along. I knew you would return, Joker. Ah, oh, you didn't know anything, Patty. All you knew was that I was here, waiting for you. Not good. All those were bad. I'm guessing you wanted the My Joker performance one and you typed it in wrong. So you should kill yourself for that. For that mistake, I don't forgive you. You should not forgive yourself. In the eyes of the Lord, you are a bad person. You are a sinner. You should go down to the nearest Catholic church right now and you should beg for the ear of a pedophile. You should beg for forgiveness so you don't die and go to hell tonight, my friend. Kill yourself. Thanks for the donation, though, RWP. Nico Creative Co. with the 499 says, Bim, what do I do if the podcast I produce for a guy is better if I host it instead? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. Get fired? I don't know. Uh... That's a tough one. What do I do if the podcast I produce for a guy is better if I host it instead? I mean, you you might be wrong, dude. <laughs> Why don't you just start your own podcast on the side? Why not do both? How about that? You can do both, you know. They're not mutually exclusive. Emma's retarded ass cheeks with the five says, are Jason Devin ever going to be on stream again? Also, what? Uh, no, probably not. Uh, also, what was Curtis Yarvin slash Mencius Molebug like in real life? He seems like he'd be chill or retarded as fuck. He's a cool dude. I like Curtis. Um, he's really smart. I talked to him for like 30 minutes on my own and we talked about... Um, uh the whole time we talked about Japanese hornets uh being killed by bees. It was really interesting. And he made it as this as this whole metaphor for like uh civilization and stuff. I subscribed to his newsletter. I don't really read it and I've since then I've been invited to a few things with him. My buddy Aaron has him over and Jay Johnston Johnston? Johnstone, the the Capital Riot guy. It's like a barbecue where my friend Aaron and then Jay and Curtis Yarvin go, but I haven't been able to go because I've I've had the baby and I've been busy. But uh, I want to go to one of those barbecues one day. I belong there. I want to flip a couple burgers and talk about the Capital Riots and Japanese Hornets. Sounds like a good time. But yeah, he's uh, 
No, he's 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 a fucking dork, you know. Uh, he's a dorky, weird dude. But I, I chill with that. I vibe with that. I mean, I, I fucking get bored out of my mind so easily with most people. So if he comes up and just starts talking at me about Japanese hornets, I think that's awesome, and I'm down to clown. I'm down to clown. Just don't be fucking boring. Be interesting. Lance Goodthrust with the five says, I'm so sorry. I meant to ask about copyrights. Do I need an actual lawyer? Lance Goodthrust, what was your... Oh, you're talking about the scripts. I don't know. The fuck do I know? I just make stuff on my own. I have no idea. You mean copyrights if you're trying to use music in your stuff? Yeah, if you're trying to submit it to film festivals, you got to look at the uh, the rules for all that stuff. But if you if you're using like a Rolling Stone song in that shit, and then you you put it in a festival, I mean, they're gonna that's they're not gonna be down with that. You need permission to use stuff. I think you can use music from like the 1920s and before that, pretty much. Or we can get a friend to make stuff. I, I have no idea about the legal side of stuff, man. I just, I really just make shit with my friends. And I, 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 have, I have no clue, man. I know nothing about the business at all. At all, at all. I'm just a guy who likes being funny and I like making stuff and I have a Wi-Fi connection. That's it. Jono Palton with the Canadian 10 says, look up a two-person 7-10 split trick shot. <laughs> I want to do this but go up the guy's ass. I love when dudes are just having a good time. It's the best. Okay, it's gone on too long, but... Dude, this is the thing. Vic Berger, Vic Berger is legitimately funny. He's a great editor, and he's a very funny dude. I don't know why he has to be a massive cuck. AR with the 999 says, Watch, here comes Bill Griefer. Bedtime Stories by Tim and Eric is some of my favorite stuff. I can put people's, uh, you know, weird gay Twitter persona opinion bullshit things aside and enjoy their stuff. I wish I didn't have to, but it's 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 what we have to do now. Comes Bill Griefer. I don't think I've seen this Sam video. These babies are. Oh, by the way, me and Devin are doing Hide Wars on in early May. We're going up to Boston early. Um, Sam hit us up. We'll be doing uh, their podcast. The tech world gets a hold of my excited to meet dollars them. concept. It's going to be raining money. That's why I keep my money in gold stocks. <clears throat> in gold bonds. All right. Let's see what they got for Indian train groping videos. He is John Lennon. Oh, Call Miami. Tell him to sell my stocks. Oh, this shit is crazy. Burt's Bees. This shit is crazy. I don't insane. know how I missed the Sam video. Oh, plus insane. Did you worth your shit? How did they do all this shit?
I even I love the way they color grade stuff and everything. Yeah, well, <clears throat> no one teaches you the ten secrets of investing. You buy the ten biggest companies. He is a genius. Here comes Bill Griefer! <laughs> I am gay. I am gay. I am gay. Ba -ba 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 Glass of AIDS with the 950 says, look up a cool guy talking about bathhouses. Google, it's SFW. Should be first thing that comes up from R slash YMH. Talks about bath houses. <clears throat> Detroit. It was a, it was a, it was in a black area, so most of the men were. What the hell? Now I can't watch it? What the fuck? Fuck you, I wanna watch it. Local at a sauna in Detroit. It was a, it was a, it was in a black area, so most of the men were African Americans, you see. And uh and they used to say, Pass over the white boy. Oh, you know, and they used to actually physically, but I was 19 then, and they physically <laughs> used to pass me over to the middle of the wall. And some of these black men were fat, and they got fabulous tongues. And I loved it. I loved it. You know, I used to come and come and come. And uh, I reckon about four or five times in a couple of hours was not unusual. Now, of course, I am 70 next year. And one of my great sadnesses is, I can't do anything like that now, you know. I mean, I go to the baths and I, and I have to be satisfied with two. Because if I try for number three, I'll kill myself. I mean, my heart's beating, you know. I know, I know that if, if I die, it'll probably be there with all those people there. <laughs> the bath attendant will be in awful trouble, wouldn't he? He's a gay man. Men. And they physically <laughs> used to f pass me over to the middle of the wall. And some of these black men were fat. And they got fabulous tongues. Very good. I loved it. I loved it. You know, I used to come and come and come. And uh, I reckon about four or five times in a couple of hours was not unusual. Now. Jesus. Damn. <clears throat> Jesus. They're allowed to put Hey Hitler up here? Good lord. I didn't know they're allowed to do that. That's pretty cool. That's just being, that's called being a cool, cool guys. And not soon enough with the 10 says, can you watch the short on my channel? Let's see here. Let's see if you know they used to make it where you could search people's just channels. I'm gonna go to your channel, and then I'm gonna have to. So not soon enough. Seven twenty. Okay. Not soon enough. 720. Okay. I'm not sure about this, dude.
I'm not sure about this, dude. I'm not sure about this, dude. Huh? So, you ready for our movie? Movie? The, the short film we've been working on for like a year. Oh, yeah, wait. Which one? It's, the premise is where what, the, some teenager gets a bunch of money and then ends up moving into a house with a bunch of drugs and his two best friends. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, when are we, when's that come out? April 26th, it's gonna be on YouTube. Okay, sick, yeah. No, I'll, I'll remember that. Dude, you were in it. So, you ready for our movie? Guys, check out their movie. The, he paid for promotion for you to go watch his film. Year. On April 26th on the Not Soon Enough 720 channel. Go check them out, guys. The premise. <coughs> you plug in my vape. This is their channel right here. Not Soon Enough 720. They made a film. <clears throat> Uh, RWP with the 999 says, for making that shameful mistake, I'm going to download 15 terabytes of CP and trust this loyal chat to get me arrested slash killed like I deserve. Anyway, you, Jason, Devin are very funny. Please never stop. Thank you, RWP. I appreciate it. God bless you, my friend. Emma's retarded ass cheeks with the five says, what do you love about your wife and what do you think your wife loves about you? Oh, God. God damn, I hate... I hate questions where I feel like I'm in a job interview. I hate questions that make me... That, that, that force me to think about my own life. I'm not against thinking about my own life, but I want to do it on my own terms. And when people ask me questions, whether it's at dinner or just in person or at a party and they're drunk and they ask me questions about like this, I want to fucking kill them. But you're paying money. So I'll answer you. Being genuine makes me want to kill myself. And it deeply upsets me. What I like about my wife is she knows that I don't give a fuck about a lot of things. And she doesn't try to force me to be someone I'm not. But she makes me do just enough that's required of being a human being. And that is a special skill that I'll always, always love her and respect her for, more than anybody on this planet. And I think what she likes about me is I have a very big penis. It's very big. I know we joke about it on the show, but it's actually quite big and it pleases her greatly. And she's a Jezebel, she's a harlot, she's a whore, she's a succubus. And she wants to get dick down. She's an absolute slut. She's a cock slut. She's a cock hungry cum slut. And I think, I mean, let's be honest, I, sometimes I think like, oh, would my wife still be with me if I had a micro penis? No. I, there's too much bullshit that comes along with dating me, being married to me, that you don't get to do if you don't have a huge dick. And that's just the facts of life. I think she also likes that I, uh, that I, uh, I don't hit her. Women have pretty low standards, by the way. My favorite thing about my husband is he doesn't, he doesn't bash my head through the drywall. Like my other boyfriends. TNT seven three seven three seven three with the four ninety nine. Happy to hear you're doing Sam's pod. Submit John or Joey for Fish Tank season three. They'd crush it. John and Joey wouldn't even know they're on a TV show. John would just try to live in the house. He would think it's he would think five weeks isn't long enough. He would ask if he could live there. Jason Goldstriker would be the best landlord John's ever had in his life. It's not an old Chinese man with a fire poker that he's, he's trying. He's chasing John around, trying to brand him 
as John's running and stepping on cockroaches and they're cracking like eggshells. Curtis Kleckner with the 10 says, check out Doctor right now, my 600 pound life parody. Poe Folk the Entertainer, the more you watch, the better they get. Doctor right now, my 600 pound life parody. Doctor right now, my 600 pound life parody. Oh, Poe Folk. Poe Folk. Hey, how y'all doing? Surviving. Surviving, huh? So that's why you ain't been coming to see me? What the fuck going on? We just gave you the surgery, and you ain't lost shit. Now tell me what the problem is. Uh, I guess I'm eating the wrong things. <laughs> you think that shit funny? Look at your chin. We gave you gastric bypass, didn't we, motherfucker? I had a gastric bypass. Shut the fuck up. I'm tired of this shit. You out here playing around. Your bitch done lost all this weight. We ain't even gave her the goddamn surgery yet. Your fat ass out here playing. I ain't got time for this shit. Matter of fact, get your ass up and get the fuck up out of here. Look at you. Tired already. And I smell that Kentucky Fried Chicken on your breath. Everybody know fat white people like Kentucky Fried Chicken. So you telling me you ain't been eating? Yeah. It's a goddamn lie. <laughs> I'm not eating. I'm telling you. So what is this? My goddamn imagination? It was. Y'all trying to play me for a sucker. Listen here, bitch. Yes. If you don't stop eating all this goddamn food, I can't do no surgery. She didn't eat anything. That was me. Nigga, what? You you trying to play me? There was fluid up. She can't help it. That's the one thing she been stressing about is the fluid. We done took all the tests. Ain't no water. That's fat, bitch. I bet there's pizza on your breath. Let me smell it. Ever since I had surgery on my leg, you can't tell me that I haven't because I have. Yeah, you have been eating that goddamn pizza. I'd rather have my lady draw my blood because she knows my veins and I'm comfortable with her. If we being honest, I'm comfortable with her. No offense. Ain't no offense, bitch. You came here to get the surgery. Now you talking about you don't want no need to be took. What the fuck you want me to do? Yeah. You already come in here and give me the mans. We got good nurses who've been taking fat people. Yeah, I mean, years. look, I'm a genuine I'm retard. Something like this will, do, it does it for me sometimes if I'm in the right mood. So you're telling me you ain't been eating? Yeah. It's a goddamn lie. <laughs> I'm not eating. I'm telling you. So what is this, my goddamn... Hey, how y'all doing? Surviving. Surviving, huh? So that's... Okay. Um... Hey, Ben, you ever... Uh, this is Fuda Connoisseur. Canadian 675. Hey, Ben, you ever left a job without a backup? Need some inspo to leave my shit-ass pharmaceutical job. I've been fired before from a job. and didn't know what I was going to do. Um, but no, I've just I've never left a job without... Like, even if I've ever left a job, I've been like, oh, um, my big plan was to, you know, get a car I could drive Uber with. That was, you know, when I quit the, I think the Chinese restaurant, I was like, oh, I'm going to, I was like, oh, you know, I know a guy is doing Uber. He's making like 900 a day. It's all fake. It's all bullshit. But I definitely fell for all those scams along the way, as I'm sure many of you guys did. Um, I need some inspo to leave my shit as pharmaceutical job. You could just move in with your, uh. Hey, what's up? I'm live right now. It's my brother's roommate just popped in. What's up? My brother has roommates. Not that he couldn't afford this place on his own. He's just, you know, he's he's a he's a gay man. Um, I guess you could. Uh, why do you want to leave your pharmaceutical job? Couldn't you just? Who gives a shit? Can you start phoning it at work and just start stealing the pills and selling them on the side? That's what I would do. That's what I'd do. I'd steal all the pills and uh, crush them up and uh, have some fun. <clears throat> Burn the place down on your way out. That's what I say. Why just leave everything squeaky clean? I say commit a couple felonies on the way out the door. 
I'm sorry, though. You're at your job. That sucks ass. Food a connoisseur. Been there, done that many times, my friend. I don't really... I don't want to tell you to leave your job and then you're fucked. That's the thing. Just move back in with your parents. Who gives a shit? Nothing's real anyway. Live off of them for a few years. Who gives a fuck? Fuck them. Fuck them. They never really gave a shit about you. You were their second child. You meant nothing to them after the first. Let's be honest. They didn't really give a shit. The excitement of having a kid was over. Fuck them. Eat all their food. Drive one of their cars around. Ding it up real bad. Say you're going to pay for it and take it to the shop, but never do. Pretend it never happened. Smoke weed in the garage. Get in a lot of fights with them. Make them film you. Make them call the cops. Start denying Sandy Hook in front of them. Say you can't contribute to rent, but get like one of those propane uh, pizza ovens that you put outside and start getting really into making pizzas. Like start spending money, not a crazy amount of money on stuff, but a decent amount of money where like, it's obvious like you could give them like 700 bucks a month, but you're not. Do stuff like that. Park a sea do right in the driveway. That's what you should do. You should move back in with your parents, and then when they ask you to leave, hold them at gunpoint. The human head with $10 says, could use a bit of rage cringe. How about a revisit the Nikocado? Keep up the great work, brudda. Thank you, the human head. Thank you. Thank you, my I'm N-word. My Oops, I'm not supposed to say that. Oopsie. Oopsie, no one in the world is supposed to say that. Really sucks ass. Really sucks my ass. Yep, sucks dick. Okay, now this one I really like, actually. This one's one of my favorites. And we're losing so many people in the stream as I'm watching the Kikado. Very good. We got to purge the fakes. We got to purge the fair weather fans by playing a little the Kikado. Oh my god. I don't know how much longer I can keep oh going, god. by the way, because this... MacBook keeps unplugging itself. It's got half the battery left though, and I keep trying to get the connector to work. It's, it, it looks like it's connecting back again. Nah, then it unconnected again. No, nah, now nah, it's back. I don't know. We'll just keep going until the wheels fall off. I mean, I can't do that long. I do have to get back to the baby at some point. And yeah, she should be asleep right now, but mm. she's not doing too good for with going from LA time to Texas time right now. So things are oh a little. Oh my god! Things have been oh a little fucked Ooh. on this trip. Oh my god! Damn, that looks good. Mm. Now, I'm, I'm going light tonight. This is a light meal. I got 12 tacos.
What the fuck? Why is this vape blinking? God damn it. Now, I'm on Quora trying to figure out a vape issue, guys. Be a little patient. Poor connection issue. Let's see here. God damn it. See, this is why people just do the elf bars and shit. They get sick of doing this stuff. I mean, it's crazy. You know, you spend you spend your well, your hard earned money, you you practically empty your bank account on one of these things. I mean it was thirty five bucks. You expect it to work perfectly every time and it doesn't. I mean, how much money do I have to spend in this country to, to get something that fucking works? Fucking pissed off. Wet Cigarettes with the Tent says, Watch Zero to 100 by Devin Costa. I don't think I can watch that sketch because... So, I can't... It's might this song by Drake might pull the stream. It's one of my favorite sketches by Devin. But it might pull the stream. That's the only thing. So I can't really but the whole point is watching it with the sound on cuz it is very funny. But It's a great sketch. Man, I wish I was working with Devin back then just to get the audio and video better. That, tighten up the editing. But it is a fun kind of nostalgic thing. It's like Skinnamarink, but with uh, comedy sketches, you know? The way Devin shot these things. We're back. We're back and we're chief in clouds. AB10, hey Ben, love your work in the pod. Can't get enough. Who's winning the Masters Love from Australia? I got a good feeling about Brooks. I got a good feeling about Wyndham Clark. This is going to be a weird Masters. The score isn't going to be that under par from what I've read. And from interviews I've seen, the greens are going to be firm and fast. People are hitting greens, selling over. You're going to need to go with a player that hits it very high and hits it far and hits it soft. I don't see someone really scrappy winning it like a Brian Harmon in those conditions. I know Zach Johnson won in 2007 when it was cold and the conditions were around par, but... I don't know. I think the course just plays so much longer now that I'm going to have to rule out a Brian Harmon guy, even though my instincts tell me that someone really scrappy that hits it. Um, I'm feeling like Victor, Brooks, Wyndham Clark. Those are kind of the three I'm really feeling. Obviously, I'd love someone if, like T. Gala to win, you know, my boy, but you can't have emotions when it comes to these things. Gun to head, I'd say Wyndham Clark's real solid. Danny with the 999 says, Doctor now meets 600 pound man who can't stop getting food deliveries. This specific fatty's accent is so funny to me. (laughs) 
it filled it out for me somehow. I wake up in the morning time. The first thing I do before I even brush my teeth. Good morning, how you doing? I'm calling to put in an order for breakfast this morning, please. I got to look or whatever service I need, do what I'm going to order for breakfast. That's mm -hmm. the first thing I do. All right, can I get the two slices of steakhouse premium pancake? Can I get two orders of that, please? I spend most of my time on these delivery services. Nice. Can I get the game day family feast? Nice. Uh, can I get the original French toast? Damn, he's ordering well, feasts. You can get is just crazy. So I just, I get excited. How's he it's got like the, the cheddar to do this? You can get whatever you want now. You understand? And a slice of, uh, let me get a slice of ham. Two of them. Damn, he's ordering Hello? ham. He's getting yeah. ham delivered to himself by the slice. But this once is another I place level. An order, I get anxious, even though the food don't take long. It is funny, you see people that clearly weigh like maybe 50 pounds less than this guy and they claim they weigh 300 pounds. It's hilarious. This thank is a 600 so pound man. Have a wonderful day. All right, thank you. You see people walking amongst you that are and over 500, make no the mistake. They all just say they're 300. And I'm ready to go, you know? I'm always ready to eat. I just feel like the food has to be eaten. Looks like absolute shit. Be here and I tell myself, stop, just put it down. He has a good setup with the later, table in the living room, though. Fuck a dining room table. Something in my head is telling me. This I man isn't. To. This man isn't dining. He doesn't need a dining room table. Then I'm already back on the phone. This man needs a hammer and a pitchfork. I'm gonna get for lunch. To an end of a meal, locks the world around mm. you, and then you feel comfortable. You feel like nobody could see you. It gives me everything I want. But there's nothing worse than coming to an end of a meal. Fucking so, poetic, man. breakfast is over. <laughs> Wait, they're blurring these out. What is that? What are those drinks he's having? And I'm already thinking about lunch. I do get full, but it's temporary. Then I'm already back on the phone, looking on what I'm going to get for lunch. Everybody's ready? So this guy's British, but he's so fat he just sounds like he's a gay guy from Detroit. <laughs> Does it explain how he... Oh, TSL pays them for doing the show. Got it. So that's why... That makes sense. I don't know why I didn't connect those two together. They say yes to it just so they can get free food. We're going down there as a... What I plan and God be steady damn. with my pain. Hear that? As long as it means I'm gonna get the help I need to get. No, I don't care about. I don't want to see him trying to get better. I just want to see him eat. I don't give a shit about any of this. I believe so. Eat, 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 fatty, eat, fatty, eat, eat, eat. Boo! Don't get help. Don't get help. Euphoria with the 1555 says video title The Slot Scraper. Thank you, Euphoria. Dude, nice hit, man. I've been watching you for a while. You haven't hit shit yet. Oh, it's the Johnny Amchek video? Let's Hell go. Yeah. Come on. This is it. <laughs> Come on, pal. That's the one. Man. Holy shit, dude. You're getting fucking tea I love guys here. like this, man. Straight it's like cats straight with it. laser pointers, straight that dude. that motherfucker. Straight that shit, Johnny. They're entertained all day with this shit. Outstanding. Dude. Hey. <laughs> you did it. That's the one I was talking about, dude. Nice. I got the documentary. Hey, 
My name is Johnny with Ham Tech Productions. Thank you. We're doing a short documentary with people down here at the slots. And I wanted to ask you a question real quick. At what point in your life did things start to go downhill and you realize you would be here strung out on the slot machines? Come on, fucking charge. Nice. I don't want work, this Mac sir. to die. Tunes, Clangers TV. <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen the just the, ever watched all oh, those this races Town? Disney? Of course, oh, they're yeah. so good, repeatedly. Yeah. They're still on, right, the Amber is good friends with Ida. Actually, I haven't met her, but you guys just want me to listen to Come Town clips yeah. on the street. They were still on when I was like really little it's on crazy. like the local. Yeah, the local yeah, station. Yeah. Nick sent me a couple of the sketches they were editing and shooting. Recently, the digital shorts, I thought they were pretty good. I thought they were really funny. Nick's a great actor. I like the lo-fi style of stuff Nick's doing. I thought it was really funny. Support the Adam Friedland show. Uh, it was Looney Tunes, wasn't it? More uh, than uh, Cole, Cole Black Looney and Tunes. the Seven Dwarves. Yeah, that, one that one's the fucking best that of all of them. When that tr- she, uh, she fucking calls Murder Incorporated. Yeah. And the, the, the queen, like the evil queen or whatever. She's like, hello, Murder Incorporated. <laughs> 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 Which is objectively very funny. It is really you know? funny, I mean, they, they had it nailed down back in the 40s. It is very, very yeah, Have you ever seen yeah. like Japanese cartoons depictions of black people? Uh, oh, oh God. yeah, it's really shocking. Well, really? they they dig yeah. on Japs a lot in those old. They do, those yeah. Because in that one, she calls Murder Incorporated, and then the truck like comes by, and on the back it says, uh, "We kill anybody, hundred dollars, uh, midgets, half price, <laughs> Japs free." <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> midgets. Damn, Damn Nick has a great so memory good. for stuff like that. Um, Mr. Nathan with the 999 says, Hey, Ben, I'm currently hauling 5,000 pounds of liquid flammables. What silly thing should I do it with? Oh, dude, you know what? It reminds me of the movie um, by uh, William Friedkin, um, Sorcerer. That's a great movie. Man, that's a good movie. Me, Devin, and Jace watched that one night on my... I bought an old shitty projector that I put up in my dining room that we'd watch movies on sometimes. We don't really do it anymore, but yeah, we watched Sorcerer one night after Friedkin died. It was so good. Um, what silly thing should I do it with? Um, how about how about your wife? How about that, bitch? Five dollars message retracted. AR with the 499 said, Is Joe Rogan actually funny in person? Biggest comedian in the world hasn't been funny since 2017 when he became an asset. Um, yeah, Joe in person makes me laugh really hard. He really actually does. He's He can be really funny. He speaks very... Um, he really controls the conversation in a very like alpha way. And he's just in his own mind telling stories and and talking shit and uh yeah he can get on one he's he's funny not in like a you know he's not funny like in the way like bill burr is funny but he can be he can the way he can talk shit about people and uh speak very candidly he can be really funny with shit especially when he's been drinking a little bit and he's smoking cigarettes and he, you know, he starts, you know, telling some story about Carlos Mencia or something that can be really funny. Uh, but yeah, his his podcast is not a comedy podcast. Uh, Lance Goodthrust, I mean, he's talking to people who like you know study uh, glaciers and stuff. You know, Lance Goodthrust with the five says, Ben, please look up. Uh, I mean, if I want to laugh, if you're going to watch comedy podcasts, watch like Norm Macdonald live or something like that, you know, for my money. Lance Goodthrust with the five, five. I mean, I don't watch WTF with Mark Maron if I want to laugh, you know. 
Lance Guthrus with the five says, Ben, please look up 0815 Zetch Gelegal Teal 1. You can't stop at 153. Guys, I think I need to get to going soon because I got to drive like 40 minutes to my in-laws place and I'm borrowing my father-in-law's truck just to be transparent with you guys and my wife has put down the baby on her own and I think she's been she's been up and down and up and down not dealing with the but I still make time for you you can't say the baby's ruining the show I still make time for you retards Oh, oh, you can stop at 153. Sorry, I read that wrong. Come on! The only live stream where you're forced to watch things like this. Very good, Lance Goodthrust. <laughs> like the big fat guy. Alright, boys. That's uh that's gonna do it for me. It's like eleven PM here. I, I gotta I gotta head home. And this MacBook, as you can see, I don't know how much longer it's got. Or can you not see? Yeah, you should be able to see the battery. I'm going down. I'm going down quick and I can't get it to charge. Um, but God bless everybody. God bless everybody who tried to help me with these uh, problems, too. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> I'll see you guys. I, I probably won't be able to stream Friday. But if I do, I'll let you guys know on Twitter. Uh, but I will be back home on Saturday. So God bless everybody. And uh, take care of yourselves. And God bless. This is live from Dallas, Texas. Ben Avery is signing off. I'm gay.